Are you gonna be streaming off the wire? Do you, do you then? Am I gonna be what? Streaming. Tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I might be on it all night yet. Sometimes I do um, a 24 hour stream during raid. Just keep it going. Uh-huh. There'll probably be someone streaming at all times, just about. Yeah. Holy mackerel, that death blow hurts. <laughs> it does. Which one's that? The one missile, the bullshit missile, mortar thing. I'm in a oh, 35, fuck. and I just killed one of them scout ships, and I didn't quite get my cooters turned around in time. <clears throat> All right. And yeah, I paid the price. If you definitely can try get the tiger shark with your kudos because of the sheer fact once you get your uh, tiger shark you can if you build at least two before the next raid you should be fine to do enough to get to the uh, power range and once you get the health range you should be on track to get to the whole store because the whole store is needed by most people nowadays yeah it is I mean, this fury, it's going to be obsolete within, what, three months, maybe? No, I don't think it'll be that long. You know, it's how they've changed it again, though. We all used to gather up to unlock the old star. Now we have to unlock it itself. What do you mean? Well, we had to unlock it, didn't we, as a, as a sector? Now you have to unlock it yourself before you can get to old store. Well, you didn't have the to unlock bit. it for the whole story. It's the whole story is always... Actually, you may be right. I forget. I wish they'd bring back something like the Vanguard where you could team up with your alliance mates or just random people in your sector. Hmm. I've heard a lot of people You're in my back. alliance say that they wish that they were back because that was a lot of fun with them. Well, the fun and they actually spent coins. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else wish they brought back uh, FBF, the uh, uh, Forsaken Arena, no. where they gave you you could use whatever you want? Yeah, I don't. I wish it. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I don't understand why people got all upset. Oh, it's FAT time again. Let's time. To, let's go on the forum and complain. There's more content now. We don't need content. This is exactly. why we should have the FAT. They they should definitely give out limited things like the Cobra Scatter Gun for people who want to do FDF. Things like the Cobra Scatter Gun are not needed for PVE. PVE stuff like the Cobra Scatter Gun has no point in PVE at I all. Mean, it is a PVP weapon. So, they should definitely make, bring back the Forsaken um, Arena targets, like right. tournaments, and give out stuff again. Because it was fun. You I mean, build a fleet you want, and it was fun. Some of the stuff that they gave out was hard to get after it was given out, like the Banshee. That's not been seen again except in whole raids. But even then, you can get it there. But, I mean, the people that get it only have advantage of having it for a couple of months but I mean that's normal I mean other games that have like tournaments they put out limited content in those tournaments you play and you compete and you if whoever wins gets the best prize and then you just go on I don't understand why battle pirates everyone throws a fit about it oh well they have the whatever scatter gun that's not fair because we can't get it and they can only get that in the first second arena tournament you got to spend money there I don't understand why there's so much complaining about it. I have two Cobra scattered guns that I haven't used since 
God, how long now? But the sheer fact is, it's I've never built them. I probably will never build them until I build my tiger shark, and it will probably be on my fan tiger shark. Oh, well, there's supposed to be a cover too. Whenever they put out the next limited stuff, because they were teased, they said something. Whenever they took it out, that there would be like an, a new agility system, a new alloy, or a new compound armor, not alloy. There was hydraulic resistor too. And some other stuff I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. And then those never came out. Ah. Uh. The only reason I ever got the Heavy Cruiser when it came out and the D81M was because I saw the Heavy Cruiser and then they had the Cobra out already, I think, or it came out at about the same time. And I didn't want to go through and having to get like limited Cobra scatter guns endlessly to fill up a whole Heavy Cruiser fleet. I thought it was really silly. And then the I was, wasn't able to get uranium, so putting on a lot of D81M was kind of expensive back then. And then now we got Hell Race, and I can just go auto right through a 75 Draconian. <laughs> got enough uranium to put one on. I, I never looked at what I wanted to put on a Fury yet. I have the Fury hole, and I've been deciding what I would put on. I know I'd put all the scatter guns on. Oh, oh, oh look at that. See. I came up with the design that was like nine and a half days, roughly. Have you seen that, guys? I've moved, you know, when I moved that ship and I kept getting um, repaired on it? No, well, I didn't see it. I moved it anyway into fifth spot. When it was in third spot, it kept getting repaired. So I moved it, and now it's still getting repaired <laughs> in fifth slot. Nice. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> No point in repairing mm -hmm. it if it keeps doing it. I think Siege Battery 3 is what some people have said on the Fury. I know Renato from the TST has said that. Siege Battery 3? That's surprising. Yeah. This will only give 40% of... Yeah, it will only give 40% so, turret defense, while the frontline countermeasure 1 gets 50% turret defense. Like, oh, well. I haven't yeah. really had time to play with it, to be it's, honest. This frontline countermeasure is the best one at the moment, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, you're never... I don't think... I never put any frontline or uh, any countermeasures on my Conqueror health. Oh, no. What the heck? What the hell? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. This fleet's not launched. It'd be a 12 day build if I wanted to build my Fury right now. Hey Slav, welcome back to the stream, Thanks. man. Nice to see you, buddy. All right, well, I'm gonna head to bed. I promise you, get to bed. Good night, guys. Best of uh, luck, everyone. Hey, right, buddy. Yeah, twelve. Well, no, twelve and a half. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, about twelve days. Night. Have a good one. Yeah, eleven days, twenty-one hours. This isn't exactly the same one I built or I designed for the raid, but. Renato also said that you could also get evade to a decent level. I think I had the one I built before was fifty something percent evade. I think it's fifty two it goes up to, doesn't it? Fifty two yeah. off. Somehow this one I put it three D five E and I've only got it to thirteen. Not sure what I did differently. I think I didn't have siege battery three the last time. You only have siege battery two. No, the last time I was designing it. I didn't put a siege battery in it at all. Uh, I think I put in like a GS3 or an evade special. Mm. And I'm not expecting 
the fury to live when I build it. I'm expecting to run it right down the channel, clear out like a vanquisher, or the, any other thing else that's in its way, and then send like a revenge down. Or a retribution, and then just finish the job that way. And really only even use need the fury if I'm doing like a really hard base. Because right now if I peek a base and I see a, a minigun or like three or four vanquishers, I'm not going to hit it. I'm just going to retreat and go to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not dumb enough to go trying to go get a really hard base just for 200 alliance points. Yeah, there's no point, is it? Actually, I, um, I didn't get me alliance points again this month, but I would first time I've done it in absolutely ages I've got to 400 just by hitting salvages all day I know that's nice. that's the way you know what I mean you can do that I used to get a thousand points every time with that I just got bored of it so I stopped doing it and I told uh, Gaffer at Alliance I says look I ain't getting Alliance points anymore you can boot me out if you want but you know I'm not getting it I'm just, it's too monotonous for me all the time Thousand points mm. with salvages, you know what I mean? Sorry. Yeah. So he says, Don't worry about it, there's plenty that get alliance points, from, even from base in, so. Well, I told my uh, alliance leader to move a bunch of us, <clears throat> excuse me, from whatever we were to the. Uh, particular ones that gave uh, turn speed and and all that hmm. uh, the I think of the navigators uh, was the the where I wanted to be put or the ones who normally get their alliance points put them in there and I said it will help us in the in the uh, in the raid if they get their alliance points where we can get that 20 percent uh, bonus so I don't. I haven't checked to see if he did it or not. I think with sloth, we usually stick the people that do always get their reliance points in the gunners, and then anyone else, we just fill it up in the armors, armors, or whatever the thing's called. Well, but. here goes thirty-one. Definitely going to be working my rear end off to get to the tiger shark. <laughs> I started out with a 35 and I drove poorly. I didn't get the timing down right. So, uh, yeah, I did quite a bit of damage to my poor little feet. Uh, we'll try to make up for it here <laughs> and that didn't work Five, but oh well. Thirty-five, and no retreat on these either. I see. Yeah. You're killing us, Kixai. You're killing us. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen minutes left. <laughs> 